Hello again, YouTube. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm recording this on Mother's Day, so I want to start this off by saying Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers that may watch this. I hope you guys have a beautiful, blessed, peaceful day. Not only today, but every day. You deserve all the love and happiness and comfort that you deserve because without you, there would be no us. So that being said, um, I'm doing this video because, look, this story about Aaron Rodgers is not going any anywhere. It, it continues to just grow and grow and grow and the drama continues to grow. And it's intriguing to me because there's so many rumors and there's so many thoughts. There's so many analysts putting out so many predictions, right? And to me, it's like, I don't really see him moving, to be honest with you. And if you think about it, what it would take to agree to a trade to allow A, him being traded, because Green Bay is not going to trade him most likely inside of the conference, much less the division. That takes half of the, the whole league out. The teams in the AFC actually need or, or would be willing to give up what they would demand for him. It's so slim. And it's just, I think it's a reach. I think it's a real reach. And I think most of the rumors that are out there are... Yeah, I don't want to accuse anyone, but you know how practices, how agents are and, and their practices. They'll create rumors just to create interest and um, uh, to create conversation. So I think a lot of this stuff, um, the teams that are thrown out there are rumors. I don't think that they're it's true interest. It's interest. If it was a free agent, there would be a ton of interest. But uh, being that he's under contract, come on, it would take so much that uh, it would tear a team apart. You know, even if they're on the verge of doing something, the resources they would have to give and draft cap capital players in return, it would devastate the team. So I really don't see it happening. And I'm gonna add this note. Personally, I hope it doesn't happen. I think that we as football fans would be, um, it would be to our disadvantage not to see this relationship mended and flourish till he retires. When you say Green Bay, you think of Aaron Rodgers. Today you do, okay? When you think of Aaron Rodgers, you think of Green Bay. It's a relationship that has flourished for years and um, because of pettiness, and I understand it, don't get me wrong, I understand why Aaron is upset. I understand why he's in his feelings. Um, but some of the things that he's complaining about is the same thing that was done when he was coming into the league. So I would think he would could relate to it. Now, do I think Green Bay is right by drafting his replacement so early and not giving him the confidence that, that he's their guy? Nah, I think they could do better. But this could be mended. Does it have to re resort in a divorce? I don't think so. So I hope, sincerely, I hope that things are mended. I think we as football fans uh, would gain something from that. So that's my thought on it. And uh, just to add, um, these analysts, please stop including the Raiders in every single quarterback controversy out there or, or trade out there, the Raiders are not interested in Aaron Rodgers at this at this point, right? Would we be interested in Aaron Rodgers if he was a free agent? Uh, we can debate that, you know? We could definitely debate that. And I would be very close to be saying, yeah, I'll be pulling for that. But he's not a free agent. He's under contract. And like I said earlier, what Green Bay would demand would devastate our team. We're not interested. We're good. 
So please, like my boy said, keep our name out your mouth. <laughs> but listen, um, this is gonna be a short video. I'm not really have much going right now. This is, um, you know, kind of like a dull season right now. You you gearing up for the basketball playoffs, which I'm looking forward to, even though my Spurs are irrelevant, right? I'm really looking forward to the competition and the drama of these playoffs. I think they're going to be very, very good. Um, baseball is getting into the groove. Um, there's some great games and great drama, but it's so early. How can you truly get excited for the whole league and what's happening? Nothing has developed yet. Although my Astros, I, I love, I love the way they're coming together as a team. And did y'all hear Verlander is not retiring? I'm an Astro fan. I really, really thought that he was not coming back. He is. Oh, wow. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm just going to reiterate. I can't even say that word right. I want to thank all the mothers for all that you do. I cannot say it enough how much I appreciate what you do for us. We could not be the men, the kids that we were and are without your love, your guidance, your discipline, and you are truly, truly a blessing. So guys, have a beautiful day. Love your mothers, give them a hug, the mothers to your children, give them a hug and show them the love and respect that they deserve. So you guys have a blessed day. Please take care of each other. Please love each other and be blessed.